Hi everyone. Um, in the name of Jesus, I want to read to you from First John chapter four. I guess that's the what I've been feeling pressed on my heart lately. Um, must be I don't know if it's just for me, but I'd like to share it because it's for all of us, I'm sure. Um, so here we go. First John, chapter four. Please enjoy. And um, and remember, your Savior loves you, and He's just trying to draw you near. And show you how much he loves you through these messages. So this is from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I pray it touches your heart and you hear it. Take heed and listen. And if you don't know Jesus, please ask him into your heart. And um, you will be born again if you profess with your mouth, Lord Jesus. And you believe with all of your heart that he is the Son of God and that God rose him from the dead after he died on the cross to save you from your sins. And with that said, if you took the time to repeat that and say that with me, um, you can pause it and do that and then continue listening and you'll understand and hear this more clearly. Um, or you can just listen and then go back and ask Jesus into your heart when we're done. But either way, please make sure you know Jesus. You'll be so grateful once you do. First John chapter 4. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now is already in this world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you, if you are saved and born again, that would be Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit within you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They who are not saved... They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Verse 7. <clears throat> Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And every one that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Verse 10. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that dwell in him and he in us, because he hath given us his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. Verse 16. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. Because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. 
If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he has not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. I pray that blessed you. I pray that you have Jesus in your heart as your Lord and Savior. If not, please do so. Ask him into your heart today. And uh, prepare yourselves for what is coming. Ask the Lord to purify your heart and renew a right spirit within you.